Crap, I'm gonna be late. Hello class and welcome to Redbubble 101. My name is Leanna and if this is your first time on my channel... Wait a second. Is that a red button? I heard if you click the red button you get good luck and if you click the bell next to it you're more likely to win the lottery? But you didn't hear it from me. I'm incredibly grateful for every sale I've made in the last three years making stickers on Redbubble and I thought I would make this because people seem to like the Redbubble video and I wanted to show you what seems to sell and what doesn't. And in the end I'm going to show you my Zero Sale Club, uh, just a small portion of the many stickers that have never sold for me. So I hope you enjoy. I could spend hours painting, drawing, or creating something on Adobe Illustrator just to make... <coughs> then I could spend a lot less time on something that makes... So you never really know what's gonna happen. Let's get to it. Hair scrunchies. I bought a three pack of hair scrunchies a year ago because I'm susceptible to trends, but I always seem to default back to my basic brown elastics. This one happened two years ago when I was thinking about hair scrunchies and then got inspired. I have a reenactment of that in my Redbubble video that I have pinned down below in the comments. Please check it out if you haven't. It shows kind of the basics that I've learned about making sales. And me and my friend Cynthia Papadopoulos tried to make it fairly entertaining. And hair scrunchies were searched at the time, just not nearly as much anymore. So they still make some sales, especially because I use multiple colors, but just not nearly as much as they used to. So I would definitely recommend trying a few different colors depending on what your design is. Hydrate or dihydrate? Look, no one wants to dihydrate. I know I don't, and I'm sure it's fairly relatable to not want to dihydrate. So I made this sticker. I'm down to gyrate, not to dihydrate. I wrote it in the script and I kept it. I don't know. <laughs> This is a fairly common quote, but I decided to do my own take on it on Redbubble. So I drew a water bottle and then I took a picture of it and cleaned it up on Illustrator and Photoshop. And then I painted a patch of blue watercolor paint on a piece of paper. And then I took a picture of it and in Photoshop, I put it inside the water bottle. It wasn't the most efficient way of doing it, but I had fun while doing it. And this is the finished product. I think I might've just said product, but you knew what I meant. Yes, water's clear, but in many cases, water absorbs the colors in the red part of the light spectrum, leaving behind the colors in the blue part of the light spectrum for us to see. Therefore, we associate it with blue. I forgot to mention this is also a science class and you will be graded in the comments. Cat mom and dog mom. I'm currently only a cat roommate, but that seemed like too small a niche to make a sticker for. It seems fairly obvious that dog mom and cat mom are gonna make more sales than dog dad and cat dad, but it's kind of funny to compare the two. Shall we compare the two? We shall. Cat mom, cat dad, dog mom, dog dad. I know you dog dads out there are proud, you just don't express it the way dog moms seem to. Watercolor tulips. Don't mind me, just trying to blend in. This is the best bit I could come up with for this one. Do you ever just get a strong desire to paint watercolor tulips? I do. Well, at the time I did, I haven't for a while. So at the time there were a lot of flower stickers, but not so many tulip stickers. So when people searched tulips, they came across it. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one. People just seem to like the multicolorness of it, and I appreciate that. I guess my advice for this would be maybe find something more broad and then find a more specific aspect of it. For example, if you make a daisy sticker, don't just call it a flower, call it a daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't know how to express myself creatively and I execute multiple ideas at once. Wisconsin. My favorite state, but I'm biased. If I wasn't born in Wisconsin, it probably wouldn't be my favorite state. Now I'm gonna eat some cheese because that's Wisconsin-y. All right, we can tone down the creativity now. I never really thought about this, but Wisconsin has one of the most marketing-friendly silhouettes, at least in my opinion, because it's more than just a rectangle and it doesn't have like islands around it so you can just kind of focus on the one shape. For example, I really like my Hawaii one. I just put the name underneath since it's obviously a much different composition. Um, it's gotten zero sales, but let's be optimistic. I'll admit the other states were kind of an afterthought, but some of them, I guess, turned out a little bit better than others. Rhode Island and Minnesota sell fairly well, but Wisconsin is definitely just the best seller when it comes to that. Palm trees. Care for a pina colada? Sorry, I only have apple juice. I made this sticker with Adobe Illustrator. 
The sticker is a victim of theft and is being sold in various sticker packs by countless Amazon sellers with the help of a supplier who likes to steal sticker designs from artists. There's not much I can do about it aside from be thankful that Debbie from New Jersey posted a nice review about my sticker on the Amazon sellers page. Like I said, I used the Illustrator pen tool and it took me maybe 20 minutes to a half hour to create the palm trees. I will use the approximately $70 I've made from the stickers to pay for a vacation to Honolulu. This adorable little whale is also a victim of theft. I designed him on Adobe Illustrator. His name is Swimmy Hansen and we've been good friends ever since I created him. We go to therapy together and we've accepted that he's being sold on Amazon without our permission. Meditation has helped both of us significantly. Luckily, not many of my stickers have been stolen. Long story short, just be careful with your watermarks. Oh, sorry. I was probably online shopping. I know what you're thinking, Leanna, that did not take you a long time to make. No, it did not. But after three years of working fairly hard and designing stickers that took me hours that never sold, I think it was the universe and karma lending me a hand. Also, I know that approximately 100% of the people who have purchased my stickers have online shopped. Relatability is your friend. I got lucky with that one, and if you keep posting, you'll get lucky and be like, whoa, that sold. Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby. Teach, love, inspire. I don't think I was meant to be a teacher, but teachers are superheroes, so I wanted to try to do something for them, so I tried to make some sticker designs. If I ever have a kid, they'll be teaching my child, so the least I can do for teachers is try to make some cute designs. This one is just an apple, made it on Adobe Illustrator. It says, Teach, Love, Inspire, and I have a similar one with just the words in a red, um, what am I saying, purple color. Teach, love, and inspire. I want to think I'm good at the second and third one. Again, you never know which stickers will do the best. It could be one that you spend less time on. Speaking of successful stickers, let's talk about unsuccessful stickers. I'd like to introduce to you just a small portion of my many stickers that have gotten zero sales. I introduce to you the Zero Sale Club. I'd like to begin with Anthony the Sloth. I made him with love, and we are both patiently waiting for someone to adopt him on Redbubble in the form of a sticker. Applications are currently being accepted on my Redbubble. I will now read off some of the many stickers that are a part of the Zero Sale Club. Dog Dad. We talked about that one. Purple Watercolor Flower. Spread Guac, Not Hate. What's the tea and love that for you sticker packs? Bunny, which is adorable and I might buy it on my own actually. Okay Boomer Typewriter. It was fun to make the typewriter. Sparkly Shell. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Be happy. Will there be snacks? I should just take the blurb out of that one to be honest. Just have the snacks. Mountain Range out of plain window. Donut letter X. My donut letters do fairly well, but we all know X is a little bit of a less common letter. Just Peachy. Nurture Nature. Those and many others are members of the Zero Sale Club. They are special in my heart, and I know that one day they will shine. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my best sellers and my worst sellers. In many cases, when something doesn't get sales, it's just because there haven't been eyes on it yet. And I know that's the case for Anthony the Sloth. I'm hoping this video gave you some ideas or inspired you for certain directions you could go. Please like if you liked, subscribe if you liked, and turn on notifications if you liked. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me behind the colors in the blue Sparta like shark and... What did I just say? Sorry, I was probably... <clears throat> nope. Sounded kind of scary. Mm.